Man, I wish I was someone's left earlobe. Do you feel me? You ever get that? Hey, fellas. Uh, welcome to, uh, a, a stream where we're already having a bunch of frame drops, apparently. Um, 143 so far. Which isn't that much, but that's four seconds. <laughs> which is actually a lot, given that the stream just started, so I'm gonna, uh, let it sit for a second and see if that continues. Um, because that's mildly worrying. If it does continue, I'll just stop the stream, restart the router and everything. Hi, Donnie. What is a bitch salad? What is in a bitch salad besides bitches, I presume? I don't have anything. I'm just waiting to see if the number goes up. So, uh... Lettuce. There's- okay, there's- there is lettuce. I imagine. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Nothing else. Lettuce, Parmesan, and- and bitches? Or are the bitches not even a part of it? Is it a bitch salad because there's like nothing on it? Is that why it's a bitch salad? Or are bitches a component? Um... So... You remember how, uh, before Super Paper Mario, I did Mega Man, uh, 5 and 6? Uh, it's a salad for bitches. Okay. Cool. Glad- glad- glad that's cleared up. So, before Super Paper Mario, which I just finished up, uh, I streamed Mega Man 5 and 6 back to back. Um, and I plan on doing the same with 7 and 8 before jumping into the next game. Um, <laughs> 7 and 8, I am told, I hear, from many sources, are worse. Um, let me go ahead and transition to the game proper. And by the game, I mean Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, a package that, despite containing basically the same things as, as Legacy Collection 1 in terms of content, it's got the games, it's got little challenge extras, and it's got a museum and a music player. All the things are the same, but the package itself just feels stripped down and bare bones. Like this title screen, okay, well the title screen of the first one was just the logo over a blue background. This one's just Mega Man, just a Mega Man sprite running along a moving background. They're both lame title screens, but this song, it's the music that does it. Um, this song is just like, I think the intro stage from, it's not the intro stage from Mega Man 7, I think it's the stage select for Mega Man 7. Um, but, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Yeah, this, the title screen music here is just like ripped from one of the games. Uh, the title screen music in Legacy Collection 1 is an epic remix of the title screen from uh, Mega Man 3. Here, all the music and sound effects are just taken directly from the games. They're not remixed in any way. Um, this this uh, game select is lame. Um... I don't know, everything just feels boring, package-wise. I mean, of course, we're here for the games, not the wrapping the games are in, but still, it feels very bare-bones. Um, the actual, the wrapper is lame, that's all I'm saying. Man, I have this totally new idea nobody would have ever thought of before. We take the side-scrolling shooter platform and platformer and make it an FPS. Dude, that'd be wacky. <laughs> Has Mega Man ever been an FPS? It's been a 3D platformer, like adventure shooter thing. I don't know, I don't think it's ever been first person. Um, at least that I know. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something I just don't know about because um. There's a billion Mega Man games. I think for a while it might still hold this record, but I think for a while it held the record as, um, like, even though it wasn't the series with the most games, it was the phrase Mega Man was uh, the most used in video game titles, if that makes sense. Like, there were more Mario games, but, like, Mar the Mario series has games like Luigi's Mansion, Wario Land, things like that. First person platforming is awful. First person platforming is terrible. <laughs> There's a bit of it in Metroid Prime, but like they took the focus way off of the platforming and that is why Metroid Prime is good. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump in to the video game, which is a, uh, it's weird compared to the others. I'll just say that. I've played a little bit. Um, there, there's a couple changes that, um, I don't know if they're good or not yet, but, but let's, let's get it going. Mega Man 7 time. There it is. Of course, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta watch the opening. In the year 20XXAD. Wily's not that big. Let me know how audio levels are, of course. The world cheered Mega Man when at long last, he... <laughs> Look at the press taking... <laughs> Captured and imprisoned Dr. Wily. That is what happened at the end of uh, 6. There was an ad for Cutman 2 in that paper. <laughs> but... Dr. Wily always knew his schemes might end in... Is this, like, an automated... Like, is this a fail-safe plan going into effect? Failure, and had planned for, su for just such an occasion. <laughs> might end in failure. Might! After six failures. Four robots had been hidden away, and after six months... Why is this so long? Six months without being contacted by Dr. Wily. Dr. Willy. They activate and begin searching for their master in a different text, different font. That's a giant bulldozer robot that is uh, bigger than several of the buildings in the city. They're wreaking havoc. I wonder if they're creating a diversion so Wily can escape from prison. He looked at me and blew me up. There is title screen music in this game. When it first boots up, it's just like a black screen with nothing. That's just, ba that's Bowser. <laughs> Can't this thing go any faster, Otto? The city's under attack. I'll try and punch it up a notch. Hold on, roll. Not, not Mega Man, he's fine. I can't believe Wily is loose again. Won't this madman ever stop? He won't be loose for long. Once Dr. Light gives Rush and me our new enhancements, Wily is history. Whoa, end of the line. The road is too unstable to keep going. You two wait here. Mega Man, take this helmet with you. That might be helpful. That's not it. It's funny because he handed him the wrong helmet. Not only are there more cutscenes this time, they try to be funny. I guess not. Personally, I kind of like the other one. There we go. <laughs> Good luck, Mega Man. I am not controlling. <laughs> More cutscene. Doctor, are you okay? I'll bring back Roll to take care of you. At least Dr. Light looks good now. No, Mega Man. We have no time. Wily is using the attack of his robots. The attack of his robots to cover his escape. Look! I'll just give him the Merlin voice from Super Paper Mario. Oh ho! Is that the, is, is that the prison? Why, why did he have his UFO? <laughs> why was, <laughs> all right. <laughs> You've got to go now, Mega Man. Get Rush and follow Wily's spaceship. I don't think he's ever gone into space with that thing. Granted, UFOs are, it's a saucer. That's what I'd call it. Anyway, the game can start now. This fucking dialogue. So that's one thing. Uh, this is the point in the classic Mega Man series that introduces an intro stage. A change that would last for a whopping two games. 
Seven and eight have intro stages before the Robot Masters, which isn't necessarily a bad change. It, like, kind of gets you into the game and its mechanics before, like, jumping into stages that are all of roughly the same hard difficulty. But it's also a change that it, uh, comes directly from the Mega Man X series. <laughs> this, uh, was not the first Mega Man game on the, uh, SNES. This came after X1 and, I think, X2. Anyway, it's pretty basic in nature, the intro stage. I don't know the difficulty of the game itself, but of course this is gonna be easy. <laughs> Gameplay-wise, um, it's basically identical to- Hi. Okay, you're just going at me. You, uh, your, your pattern's kinda predictable there, buddy. Okay, I guess I won that. You are as good as they say, Mega Man. You better tell me who you are? Question mark? I'm Bass and he's Treble. We've been trying to stop Dr. Wily while you were gone. I see now that you don't need our help. I've actually, okay, I've run through this intro stage twice before and I've never seen that cutscene. Um, because... Base? Anyway, um, you're not able to lose that fight. But you are sort of able to lose that fight in a scripted-ish way. If he deals enough damage to you, he will, um, like, taunt you on how terrible you are and say, I'll go stop Wily myself because, like, you're bad and I'm better than you. And then you... The same things happen, he leaves, you start going through the stages, but I guess if you beat him and don't take enough damage, he'll be like, Oh, you are as good as they say! I didn't know that. That's interesting. I half expected that fight to go on for an infinite amount of time- for, for an infinite amount of time before, um, actually, before having to, like, throw the fight to progress. Anyway, what's different about this stage select screen? There are four robot masters. So this one is weird. Um, the intro said, oh, four robots are wreaking havoc. I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil it. There are still eight robot masters, but you do them in sets of four. So you do these four and then you do the next four. It's weird. It's weird. I personally don't love the idea of the change. It's probably not gonna change much, but it does make the figuring out the weaknesses Less of a hassle, I imagine, just because, like, okay, I've gotten one, I, I get one weakness, now there's only three I have to figure it out on, as opposed to, oh, there are seven potential robots I could use this weakness on, so, it really just simplifies that aspect of it, um, I don't know how it's going to actually feel, because, again, I've never played through this game. Anyway, another weird thing, you don't get to see their names! So, I had to write down the names all in advance and what position they were in on the stage select screen, because that's normal and reasonable. Um, so the top here is Freeze Man. This is Cloud Man. This is Burst Man. Wait, that's wrong. No, this is Burst Man on the bottom, and this is Junk Man on the right. So... I looked up their names in advance because how else am I going to judge what their possible weaknesses could be based on just their portraits? Like, oh, this one it seems to have a nice thing going on, but you could just as easily say, oh, he has a crystal thing going on based on the sprite. Like, if, if you're going in blind with no idea about the weaknesses, like, you have no, um, you have nothing to judge your, like, potential, like... To, to judge your potential order on other than their portraits. So I wrote their names down um, just to like make up something. Just like the last playthrough, just like um, five and six, I um, don't know what the actual order is. I know um, their names and I'm going to base. I, I, I wrote a potential order out and we will see if that is correct. So I will probably have to go through levels multiple times. I also know I'll have to go through levels multiple times because uh, this one also has a much bigger emphasis on exploration to find secret items. There are sec there's at least one secret item in every stage. And many of these you have to revisit the level later to get to. 
um, because you have to use uh, abilities that you physically can't have the first time you go into the stage. We'll see how I feel about that. Like, this is going to be a very different experience in a lot of ways, I think. Core gameplay and physics and, and going through levels wise, like it's the same as classic Mega Man, but you will have to revisit things to explore and a bunch of stuff like that. We'll see. It, it is kind of a progression of the whole secret exits thing and the secret uh, items that existed in six, which I didn't mind that much. I actually liked that. Here it's leaning a lot harder into that. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna start with Freeze Man um, there's nothing leading me to think he'll be easier than the others. I'm just, okay, let's go for Freeze Man. Um, I, th I'm, I don't really know, um, I, I don't really have any logical reasons behind any of the, uh, in behind the order that I have, but I figured, okay, Freeze to Burst to Junk to Cloud. Why? I don't know. <laughs> No clue. Freezing could prevent something from bursting? I don't know. We're gonna start with Freeze Man. I will think of smart uh, justifications for all these as we go through. We're starting with Freeze Man. Burst Man is a castle, the actual opposite of bursting. Another thing is just that Mega Man's bigger, like way bigger. Um, The physics and everything are the same and the movement feels the same. But that that's the same thing um physics and everything are the same but Mega Man is bigger so I think the level design is gonna have to like complement um is gonna have to adapt to that like these ladders are massive um uh, like this is literally just a ladder leading to a platform leading to another ladder there would be like four ladders in a screen like this in cl in in the older Mega Man games I think I don't know we'll see I feel like the level design is definitely going to be different in some ways, um, just simply because it, it, it's probably going to be condensed down, oddly enough, despite this being a 16-bit game. Just because they made Mega Man massive! Mega Man's like four times the size of classic Mega Man. Burst to freeze to cloud to junk. So, the opposite of several aspects of my, uh, order. We'll see, I have no clue. Oh, here's a here's a good change that just comes with the fact that there are shoulder buttons. It's not something I can uh, um, show off because I don't have any abilities yet. But um, you can now use L and R to swap through uh, swap through weapons without um, without having to pause to go to the menu. I'll probably still pause to go to the menu because that prevents me from having to cycle through everything. But you know, right now, fuck. It was ice. I wasn't able to jump off of that properly. <laughs> this is gonna be like Gyro Man stage where I die a million times in the first stage, but then everything else is a cakewalk. That's gonna be, that's gonna be what happens. That's not gonna be what happens. How many hits do you take? Dear God. Again, just a guess. Yeah, I, I can't think of any logical reasons behind anything right now. Probably gonna be like five where most of the weaknesses are gonna be based on enemy patterns rather than any like thematic connection between the weaknesses. Anyway, yeah, this just feels like Mega Man but larger right now. Um, I know at the time this didn't receive much fanfare because like everything, um, Basically, all attention had in, had instead been shifted toward the Mega Man X series, which was like a much more evolved version of the Mega Man formula, whereas this one felt like bare bones in comparison, apparently. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll get to Mega Man X one day. But yeah, there had been two X games by the time this came out. Okay, I made it past that. Can I make it past this? Okay. That felt like a difficult jump. I do find it strange that with the 16-bit... Uh, oh, can I use coil to get up to that? You can't cycle to rush coil for some reason. 
I think the rush abilities are on their own separate cycle. H. No! Can I, can I get to that? Why are those dino bones frozen? It's a good question. No! Oh, I can't. Please respawn. Respawn. You should respawn. I would like that. They don't respawn. It's fine. I'll come back later. Maybe I need Jet to get that or something, because Coil wasn't doing me any favors there. Or maybe I just didn't have enough momentum. I don't know. Burst breaks through ice. Ice freezes cloud to make it precipitate. That would make sense. Okay, yeah, ice does have some thematic connection to clouds. You're right. I don't have a reason for the ice. Yeah. Junk? I don't, I don't know. What was I saying? I do find it bizarre how uh, they, they were like, okay, Mega Man's moving to 16-bit. What do we do? We make him larger. We don't take advantage of the extra pixels to, like, do deeper level design that wouldn't be possible. We just make the levels bigger and thus literally more simplistic than the NES. Um, just kind of a weird choice, I think, graphically. What is that? That's a rush monitor thing. Can I... Use coil to just get up there. Rush! Oh my god. Oh, Rush can get hit! Rush can get hit in this one! Interesting. I wanted you frozen in a completely different spot. One more hit and I die because I'm trying to get the bonuses. And I don't even reach. We'll give that another shot. Well, eventually, we're gonna have to come back to this eventually, but like... I'd like to get some of the things. How many lives do I have? Wait, where do you see lives? Is that on the next page? Do I have to move to the next page for that? There's a- there is a next. There we go. Hold on. How do I hit next? Okay, there. Zero. I can't tell what all of these letters mean, though. These are probably all extra things that aren't weapons. Oh god. Also, bolts are a thing. Um, there is a there is a shop in this game and currency that enemies drop as a result, which um, is something, I guess. I'm finding this a little more awkward to control. Mega Man feels floatier in a way. Physics aren't totally the same. No, how do I get over that? Okay, giving up on the rush monitor for now. There was an H and a rush monitor. And an E tank, that's easy to get. And I will probably need that given that, um, I have no lives going into the Freeze Man fight. Sorry, those dino bones are- they're robotic. I landed on the spikes! Okay. Jumping back in. <laughs> Didn't make it to the boss. It's fine. This is the first time I'm playing this. It's the first time I'm playing this. Uh, the little dot that keeps appearing in the bottom left is the saving icon. It goes off of the screen. It, it, it's... It's like part of... It like overlaps just barely into the visible window on stream. Yeah, uh, there's, a, there's another thing about uh, Legacy Collection 2 that's different from Collection 1 is that uh, Legacy Collection 1, you could just make save states. Um, here, since these are the more modern Mega Man games, um, it does auto-saving of its own. <laughs> you cannot do save states in this one. I held the auto-fire button on that one. Okay, so far nothing's like wowing me about the game, but I also haven't, 
I'm, I have no room to judge just yet. So far, what I got is, oh, I haven't been able to get any of the secrets. The secrets have been visible to me, but I can't get them. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. I can't jump over there. Okay, thank God that spawns again. <laughs> Okay, I can go up there. I'm gonna try and get the H again. Try again at getting the H. I did not get it the first time. No, really? It's a hard jump. That is very pixel perfect. Okay, not getting that this run. Is it possible? I'm sure it's possible, but I'm also sure most people just wait until they get Rush Jet. That is quite the graphical update to Sniper Joe. That is not the look most people think of when they think Sniper Joe. No, ah! The, yeah, the platforming to get to the secrets specifically are, is really pixel perfect. Everything else is fine. The jumps are very doable otherwise. But to get the special stuff, like, it makes sense that it'd be harder than the normal stuff, but... It was hard. It was very difficult. I'm skipping both of those until later. Because later I'll either have something that'll make it easier to get those, or, um, I'll have, uh, adapted to the physics a little better. Because this does feel... I, do, I think the physics are the same, but also the... Why can't I get onto the ladder? Do I need Rush to get up there? I definitely don't need Rush, but God! Why is... Why is movement difficult here? I've never had that problem with a Mega Man game. Th those might be, they might be ice physics. That That's fair. Okay, I guess I'm here. I wasn't really quick, but... Freeze Man! Hey. That was epic. Oh yeah, they have entrances, which is neat. Okay. Jesus. I don't think I'm gonna beat this boy with the Mega Buster. <laughs> that is a very um, erratic pattern. That looked predictable to you, <laughs> not me. I jumped over him. That didn't feel possible. Everything also feels, I, I, oddly enough, a uh, thing that feels wrong about the better graphics is just that, oh, he can freeze me to the ground. Interesting. And he can make some of the ground uh, subject to ice physics. Okay. It's an interesting fight. It's probably, I don't think it's one I'm gonna be able to win with the Mega Buster. Yeah, the Robot Masters are still supposed to be the same size as you, but uh, he's like slightly bigger than me, but I think his hitbox is basically the same. Ah. 
Oh, this is difficult. Oh, let go of me. Okay. Let go of me, he says to the ice that has frozen him. Okay, I can get him below half, but... Ouch. Burst man? Anyone? <laughs> What's gonna happen is we're gonna see all the stages in this stream and I'm gonna beat one Robot Master. I do fully expect this one to take multiple streams. I don't think it's gonna be like the, like five and six where I do this quickly. Oh, okay, this has these little timed pl uh, platforms that blow up and probably hurt you. Okay. This seems simple enough. Oh, hi. How do I get that life? Can I just jump for it? Probably technically, but it's another one of those impossible jumps. Implausible but possible jumps. Okay, that was just a bubble. So, Burstman have big... Like, like, the stage is very clearly explosive-themed. I have no idea what the boss is gonna be like. Really? I guess I needed the platform. And I blew it up. That's on me. Do I get to keep my- my- my bolts when I die? I also don't know where the shop is or how to access it. I know it exists and I think it's accessible from the title screen, but... I think I need Rush Jet for this. Or... Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, I was gonna try and fall back into the other hole so I can get the E-Tank too. Clearly the intent is you get one or the other, but I, I think it's possible to get both. Another life, wow. It wanted to make up for my mistake from earlier. Um. What do you want from me? Game? Oh, you fall to the bottom. I thought that was a death pit and I had to go up. <laughs> that was on me. That is not a bad game design. It did not do a wrong. I did a wrong. Okay, this is a lot like Bubble Man stage now with the um <laughs> spikes at the top. Oh god, that's that's like one Mega Man tall. That's scary. Oh, mini boss time. Freeze Man stage didn't have any mini bosses. I'm doing the smart thing and just brute forcing everything without any regard for the attack pattern. Okay, those aim directly for you, but it doesn't matter because he's dead and that's probably a checkpoint. Hi, you're- okay, you're making me float. I- I'm too high in the sky to actually predict anything, game. Okay, I- good that there- okay, the checkpoint technically brought me just above where I died. So... What? What's the deal with the water physics here? Can I... Do I float on top or don't I? Okay, if I jump into it, then, uh... I think if I jump directly into it, I have enough weight that, uh, I, I sink for a little. But if I walk into it, that's not the case. Yeah, I figured this was a block puzzle. <laughs> A very simplistic one. Very simplistic. Preparing me for what's coming, maybe? 
Yeah. Ugh. No! Okay, ah. Uh. The, the precision platforming feels more difficult in this one, and I don't know if it's the sprite, if it's the physics, I'm not sure. It just feels wrong. Also, God, that weight brought me very close to the spikes. Spike. I ducked out for a second. The, F, the Fallout 4 New Vegas team released another weapon mod. Oh, epic. I haven't been paying enough attention to that. I'm impatient, even though it w the thing would come literally a second later. Ah! Oh, thought they did. Oh! Oh! I see. I'm having a lot of trouble. Why is this so difficult for me? Like just all of it in general. Can't get any of the extras. Can't make it through any of the precision platforming. Lose all my lives before any of the boss hits. I haven't heard that this is aggressively more difficult than the classic games. Like obviously I'm more unfamiliar than I am with the classic games, but this is, this is harder, and it doesn't feel like it should be. <laughs> okay, I'm through that. I think I'm out of lives. Oh my god. I have to hit A to do navigation on this menu. Oh hey, you're from Mega Man 3. Those little jumper boys. You know, it's also weird seeing the classic Mega Man enemies in uh, much higher graphical quality. I got the R. That was simple. They did a little victory pose. I wasn't expecting that. Can you use Rush Marine here? Is Rush Marine in this game? Because this feels like it'd be easier with Rush Marine. What? Okay, I'm finding it also very hard to predict that, um, hard to predict the sinking on that water. God, 40 minutes in and I haven't beaten a Robot Master yet. Okay. I've only reached the end of one of the levels. Looks like it's harder, but for cheaper reasons. Y yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. I uh, was looking up opinions of this game on Reddit out of curiosity, and um, I think the ones who say this is one of the best ones are largely doing so out of contrarianism, because I saw at least two people say, don't listen to the majority of people. Mega Man 7 is actually really great if you, if you, if you let go of expectations or blah blah blah. But, you know, the stereotypical, don't listen to everyone. Everyone is wrong. <laughs> like, okay, you're allowed to like a thing, but also you can't insist that everyone else who dislikes it is incorrect. And those boys have flippers galore. Okay. Maybe I should actually learn the pattern this time? I can dodge that one easily. Okay, you can shoot the bubbles. Oh, and then they ricochet. Interesting. See, I know the patterns now, I was just bad at dodging them. 
It's supposed to be 2022, but oh, I lost my, uh, lost my, hold on, let me check a thing. We've lost a surprising amount of frames. I also lost my connection on my remote app. This is bizarre. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. Also, hey, it's really stupid that um, in that floaty uppy bit, when it introduces you to the mechanic of floating on water, it's uh, it puts you in such a position that you can't see what's up above you. Anyway, supposed to be 2022, but yeah, I've been downloading all the weapons they released on Nexus because Fallout 4's weapons kind of suck and there aren't enough of them. This is fair. Oh, okay, first try. Didn't even have to wait for another another loop. Okay, that time it was easy. Am I getting used to this? We'll see. We shall see. So having to redo this, did it save that I got the, it did, okay. So if you get an item, you don't have to re-get it. That's something at least. Oh God, this has spikes on top and bottom. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. I jumped out. Why did I jump out of the water? What compelled me to do that? Oh, that's so much to redo. Okay. All right. Okay, video game. Okay. The, I mean, it does, f this, this follows more realistic physics in that, like, the farther, the, the higher you fall from the, uh, deeper you fall in the water, which makes sense, but gee willikers. No, oh, god damn it. If you stop, if you stop, you can't make that. You need the you you need to basically take a leap of faith before the thing shows up. <laughs> Which there's a bit of that in the block puzzles in Mega Man 2, I think, but This music sounds more like it's trying to sound like real instruments, especially the drums, though I don't know if that's new or not. It's a good point. The the yeah, this one's also definitely like trying to take way more advantage of the advanced sound chip. Um, however, the, obviously this is my first time through the game, so I don't, I don't know how memorable the music's gonna end up being for me, but I missed that. I'm also just terrible at this. Like, I don't, a lot of this I don't think is the, the bad game design. I think I just suck. Um, what was I saying? Maybe it's just because it doesn't have the chiptune uh, sound that, like, everyone associates with Mega Man, but, like, this music isn't really standing out to me that much. Not that it's bad, just... Hmm. No, I wanted that. I should really just take the E-Tank, shouldn't I? Don't bother with the life. <laughs> well... I mean, the E-Tank would be more useful for the boss. The, um... Lives are more useful for getting through the level. I haven't made it to the boss yet, so, you know. Part of the problem with the gameplay might be huge Mega Man. I think it's huge Mega Man. I'm having a lot of trouble with huge Mega Man. Huge alligator.
Granted, a lot of the positive opinion around this might be from people whose first Mega Man game, who, who, for whom this was their first Mega Man game, in which case, like, huge Mega Man wouldn't be a problem because they're not used to other Mega Man gameplay. Like, I, I'm, this only, I, I'm sure this only feels wrong because I'm expecting the exact feel of the, uh, NES games and like oh I have a much uh, it feels like I have a bigger headway this time am I wrong I really like to get my hands on at least uh, on on one robot master weapon okay we're back to block puzzle which is easy I just have to remember to keep a running start Here we go. Now this is the one that keeps killing me. There we go. Just don't stop and then you live. Like I'm pr I'm pretty sure Mega Man looks smaller in um I'm pretty sure Mega Man Sprite is smaller in um, the PlayStation Mega Man, Mega Man 8, than uh, he does in this one. <laughs> like, they realized, maybe our answer to, like, deeper graphical quality shouldn't just be make everything bigger. <laughs> to show that epic detail. Because, like, I'm sure that's the justification behind it and reason or the reasoning behind it but it still feels wrong okay i keep just taking the hit on the awkward explodey boys okay cool this is the farthest i've made it and that's the end i am glad to know i've made it this close to the end multiple times and um Failed. Oh, this one dips me below. This stage looks interesting. Hey, Burst Man. You're, you're water themed. So you're probably weak to weak to ice then. Oh, was I able to shoot out of that bubble, or is that an instant kill? That's def that can't be an instant kill attack. So this isn't burst as in explode. This is burst as in. Don't burst my bubble. Yeah, you can you can shoot out of it. It's just very precarious. Jesus Christ. It's so hard to get any actual hits on him because are you kidding me? I didn't have one more life. Okay, back in we go. Actually, hold on. Load checkpoint save. Okay, so it makes specific checkpoint saves that you can continuously load. That's how this works. It basically makes its own save states. It doesn't just rely on the game's innate saving. So I, I, I'm just gonna do this over and over. What are these orange bubbles? I've never seen these before. Yeah, that's the thing. It's hard to actually get a hit on him. Once these start coming into play. If you get a full charge though, he, he like responds to it. It's not just extra damage. Okay, this seems doable. I don't think I've actually taken any damage. The main threat is the spikes. It's not like the actual, actually, taking damage from him. 
And these you can just jump between. This is actually, like, fine. <laughs> I think. Oh, I was so close to dying there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Down he goes. I didn't take a hit there. I expected to need another attempt. Okay, well, he's definitely weak to freeze. Um... Just because he's water themed. Um, so. That means I'm gonna move Freeze to the end. Uh, the danger. What? Fires out a bomb encased in a bubble, doesn't it? Yes, but it can also be used to encase other things besides bombs. You get danger wrap. I wrap things in a bubble, I guess. That's what that means. Also, I said it doesn't rely on the game's innate saving. Uh, the game doesn't have innate saving. That's a weird holdover from the classic series, despite the fact that this is a SNES game. I don't think you can save normally. Anyway, it took 55 minutes, but we got our first one. So I know who I'm not going for next. Um, so, in case in bubble, Junker Cloud next. I get, I, cl cl <sighs> Cloud? It's not freeze. I can guess that much. I, I, three of these are water themed in, in some way or another. And then one is just trash. And I'm not totally sure, um, how that factors in. Should I go for cloud or I'm, I'm going to go for cloud. I wrote burst to junk, but like, I don't have any reasoning for that. So it's, we're really just like trying things based on nothing. <laughs> the only logical connection I, I uh, can gather is um, you probably use freeze on the um, one who is bubble themed. <laughs> that, that makes the most sense to me. Anyway, uh, welcome to Cloudman stage. It's uh, very reminiscent of Airman stage. Which makes some sense. Oh, that's rain. Surprise, surprise, I guess. This has a weather gimmick going on. Which makes sense. But also, as I think new... Oh, wait, where's the... Where's the opening for that, then? There we are. Give me the life. Oh, now I can use, um... Now I can use Eleanor to cycle, which is nice. Can I kill you? At all? I guess not. Doesn't look like it. This isn't like Toad Man's stage where the uh, rain like pushes you back. It's mainly just an aesthetic darkness thing, it seems. I don't think it poses any actual threat. Okay, I'm liking this stage so far. This feels nice. Yeah, very Airman 2. But you know what, I appreciate that. Oh god, you can't see some of the... Oh, this is weird. What is that... What is there that's supposed to be obscuring my vision here? Also, what's different about this? Am I just supposed to do a leap of faith here? Yeah. That's exactly what I want. Oh god, it's these. The one enemy I didn't want to return. The bird that droppeth the egg. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Here's a way up. I don't think this is the way. Ah, okay. There was definitely a secret there. Or something leading to a secret. I think, at least. So let's uh, use coil to get back up there. If God says it's feasible. Okay. Rip. Oh, we're, we spawn before the rain even comes into effect. Ouch. Or... Are we? No, this is the same thing from... I just experienced this with rain, and now I'm experience it, is experiencing it without rain? Okay, I guess. We're still having What is the deal with the invisible floors? Okay, coil to get up there. The life was here. Commit to the jump. Now what is here? The U or V? Well, I've seen an R and a U and an H, so I'm assuming that is a U, not a V. I am pretty sure this spells out rush. God damn. Leaps of faith. Anyone still alive out there? How frequent are, have the um, frame drops been? Because I'm seeing that that's happening a bit. Reading an article right now. Okay, neat. Haven't noticed. Okay. That's good, I guess. Says it's dropped 8% of frames. Which is worrying, but not stream breaking. Okay, this is the farthest I've made it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that Sniper Joe design. <laughs> That's too elaborate. Okay, this now feels like... Whose stage is it? This feels like Needleman stage. Or it looks like it aesthetically. Looks like it aesthetically is kind of... A redundant sentence. <laughs> Alright, what's up here? Hi! Proto Man? Hey! It's been a while, Mega Man. Here is a little information. Your weapons can be used to discover hidden areas. Try using the flame weapon in the woods. Okay. I don't have a flame weapon, and um, none of these four robot masters have flame have have uh, flame themes, from what I can tell. But thanks, Proto Man. I'll be sure to remember that a million years from now. So there are in-game hints as to how to get certain things, I suppose. Which I wasn't actually expecting. Like, actual dialogue from Proto-Man about things. This is a twist on, uh... A type of enemy in, in Air Man stage as well. Okay. This is Cloud Man. Hi! Oh, you float. Can I wrap you up in a bubble? 
I can. Ooh. He has like a unique animation for getting hit by his weakness. No! Why does the ice push you now? It didn't before. Cloud Man is actually a vape cloud and this stage is the boy's bathroom during passing period. I like this a lot, that they like have unique reactions to the weaknesses. That's cool. Okay, that's the last on that. Um, now I have to actually hit him. Ooh. I didn't really realize there was another side to the arena or even think that. Okay, he went down really easily with his weakness, which is, you know, how it's supposed to work, but... Cool, okay, that's two down. Took me an hour to beat the first one, but it took me ten minutes to beat the second one, so... I'm feeling good now. <laughs> Gonna be just like Mega Man 5. The Thunderbolt fires out electrically charged spheres, right? I like how it tells me how this works with Mega Man being like, it does this, right? Uh-huh, right, Dr. Light? Can also be used to power some electronic machines. Interesting. You get Thunderbolt. Hold on, I'm correcting my order because now I can pretty clearly tell what the order is. I think we're going for Junkman next. Assuming my assumption is accurate that like that burst man was weak to freeze that you would freeze the bubbles and that's how you'd take him down so junk man not really sure how thunderbolt connects to well he is i guess it's junk like like steel scrap and things like that that kind of that makes sense with using lightning against him also the stage is uh Mechanical in nature? Am I supposed to use- Hold on, can I use the Thunderbolt to, uh, like, power these machines? Maybe that comes up later. I can't seem to now. They hinted at this, like, once in Mega Man 6, but, uh, and, and never really did much with it, but I do like the idea of being able to interact with the stages um, with your weapons, like actually doing environmental things. <laughs> okay, that was simple. Imagine being a robot and being named K equals junk man. K equals junk. <laughs> How often do you type K equals junk? <laughs> also, these are cockroach robots. That's how they're leaning into the whole robot, the whole, whole junk theme. Also, this seems like a machine I can power. That is definitely a machine I can power. Oh, and it like makes platforms exist. Oh! So this'll make this easier. Cool, I like that a lot. Like you can actively make portions of the level easier by interacting with the environment around it. That's cool, that is cool. I appreciate that a lot. Except when it crushes you. That's also probably the only way you can get to the, oh, that was my one life, okay. That's also probably the only way you could get to that uh, ladder on the left there. Two. Two times. <laughs> I feel like I'm warming up to the game pretty fast. That's probably just riding the high of the fact that I was able to beat uh, Cloud Man so quickly. 
Also, Cloud Man's stage wasn't that difficult. There wasn't any of that, like, precision platforming garbage that was killing me on the last stage a bunch of times. And this one seems, like, fair. So far. Even that, uh, getting crushed by the platforms f felt like my fault. I don't think that was the game being bad. Of course, the enemies here are also extremely easy. This one's very easy to get through. Like, uh, the cockroach robots just do one charge shot. The other robots, you just do do charge shots and then they turn into the cockroaches. So, I, I the way you'd progress through this you, normally, if you didn't already have the Thunderbolt, is that you'd have to jump off of this, like, static platform uh, and, and go up that way. Which is difficult because you'd have to deal with that um, little moving robot that you can't kill. But here, this is better. <laughs> this is much better. Except you do have to wait now since the platform isn't static. No, I tried to slide out from under it. I, I was tempting fate there, I guess. Okay, do it again. We'll make it this time. I did say on yesterday's voice call, I am very patient with game design generally. Of course, Rush Jet would make this extremely easy. Well, no, Rush Jet was changed. Uh, well, it was changed in five and six. Um, I don't. I wonder what it behaves more like. Fuck! That seemed like the only way to get up there. <sighs> well, now I don't have enough lives for the boss once I get to it. Assuming I don't die again to getting crushed. I guess I just have to awkwardly wait. No. No. There we go. Oh, I missed that. That's unfortunate. Now I have to wait. Also, Mega Man's perpetually angry in this game, have you noticed? He's not very happy in that sprite. <laughs> Can I just use coil to get up there? Is that a possibility? Me too, Mega Man. Uh, it looks like I can. Yes. Now what's that? That, that's Rush Jet. That's Rush Jet. Nice. So in this one, the Rush, uh, Rush abilities are found within levels. They aren't just given to you. I was wondering when we were going to get our first one. Okay, these are tr trash goblins. They're worms. <laughs> trash goblins. Oh, I have to activate this. Probably don't have to, but... Oh no, this actually seems like it really wants me to. Am I able to get through this otherwise? No, they wouldn't do that where it's like literally impossible to progress past a thing. How do I get through there? That's probably where the... 
last of the letters is because we haven't found one of those yet. No! I thought I was going to fall to my death. There we are. These are behaving very strangely. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we're here. We didn't get the letter, wherever that is, but we'll be coming back to these eventually. Pretty much all of these levels again later. Junkman! Thunderbolt time. Yep, that's his weakness. You can tell from the custom animation. That is, de like, I said this already, but that's definitely a nice touch. Well, that was extremely easy. That was the easiest so far. <laughs> Didn't even use half of the weapon gauge. Okay, cool. Things are getting simple. The junk shield will protect the user with rotating spheres, right? How's that? How does that? connect to freezing. Yes, but the spheres can only absorb so much damage before they are destroyed. So this is a shield. You get junk shield. Again, how does that... Junk on freeze? How does that rock, paper, scissors logic work? Anyway, back to where we started. He ended up being the last one of these four. This stage also, I think, was the hardest out of all of them. Eh, I had a lot of trouble with, um... Who was it? Um, wasn't Cloud Man. Burst Man stage. This one, I, I remember being the hardest because I had a lot of trouble getting the secrets. As in, I never got the secrets. And I have rushed Jet. Which, now that I remember how it actually worked in the previous games, um, in the last couple games, I don't think that'll actually help me. Huge Mega Man. Ow. That was a bad decision. But I healed. It's fine. Fuck! Oh, I was trying to- I, I was trying to get a running start and use the ice physics to my advantage. Also, I had only one life, so I guess it's a good thing that- Oh, I hit minus. I guess that's what takes you to the shop. Okay. What can you buy here? How much money do I have? 218. Welcome to Big Eddie's. I'm Otto, Dr. Light's number one student. That's me, isn't it? Fortunately, I've lost one of my bolts, and so I have a- Couple of screws loose. If you find my hyperbolt, I would appreciate it if you bring it back here. Anyway, I'll try my hardest. I'll make items out of any other bolts you may find. So they're not really currency, they are what he uses to make the items, the bolts are. But yeah, you can get... Why? I'm hitting, I'm hitting left and it's moving right. I think the idea is that you're moving the item drawer into the line of the cursor. That's bizarre. This is Beat's Whistle. This is a 1-up. This is an E-Tank. E-Can? I don't like that. Um, anyway, uh, these are all... You can buy extra lives, you can buy E-Tanks, you can buy weapon tanks, but there's also like unique things like the stage exit thing here. There's the Beat. Um, but they're the... The unique things that you can get here, other than the extra lives and the E-Tanks and everything, the unique things that seemingly you can only get in the shop, you can find in levels. And then you don't have to buy them from the shop. So, uh, I'm not planning on buying this, the, like, the stage exit thing from the shop. Um, 
I don't think I have reason to, because I can find that later. Anyway, uh, I think the stage exit literally just lets you like leave the stage, which I think is the same effect as getting a game over, given that from what I can tell, I didn't lose any items when I got a game over. So, I don't know. I don't know how anything works. Is the stage exit even worth it? The other one was beat. You can find beat in a stage somewhere. Can I pee on George Washington? I would love if you peed on George Washington. I don't think you can physically do that. I don't think that's a possible thing, but I would support such an endeavor. Mega Man has beats. Beats by Dre. Laugh. <laughs> Epic. That's not what I meant to do. I need that. Ah, that was bad on my part. Okay. Uh, first, I want to see how Rush Jet works. Yeah, it's like in... Uh... Okay, hold on. If I use Coil and then Jet, I think I can grab the H. No! Well, I have one idea left. He didn't even stay on the platform. He was like, no, I'm out of here. Well, I'm pretty sure I can get that in my current position. I just suck at it. But we'll be back. This I can definitely get to with Rush Jet. No! What is it? It's a Rush thing. Rush search? Does he just sniff for items? I don't know where I would use that. Where I would think to say, hey boy, look for items. What does that do? <laughs> oh, I should have looked above me. There we go. Willikers G. Uh, I... It really wants me to use coil. I don't think it wants you to. But I can't make that jump otherwise. Mm. That Robo Dino Skull has all the right Fenestray, except the... Fenestray Holzen Skull, except the Mandibular... Mandibular Fenestra... Fenestra? Fenestra. On the lower jaw. Fuck Cap... Capcon. Mm. I'm gonna die here. Do I have E-Tanks? You actually can't see them on this screen. The item screen kind of sucks in this. There, I have two E-Tanks. Good thing we're about to go into a fight. Hey, Freeze Man. Uh, we... Last time we did this, it didn't go so well. So, we're gonna do it again. I have a couple things this time. I died, but that's fine. I have lives. I think it was the gray one.
Okay, this custom animation is not exactly making it clear why Freeze is weak to junk, but that's fine. Kind of just a fact of life, it seems. He went down without me having to learn a thing. <laughs> So there's apparently a flame-themed weapon, according to Proto Man, but Freeze Man isn't weak to it? You put Freeze Man and the Flame Boy in separate cycles? Okay. Freeze Cracker. Cracker, Cracker, Cracker. Fires ice bullets. Yes, and the bullets will split when they hit the ground. <laughs> you get Freeze Cracker. And I guess since these four are a complete loop, the next four I will have to kill- I I'll have to kill one with just the Mega Buster. FREEZE CRACKER! FREEZE CRACKER! Welcome home, Mega Man. Dr. Light, what do you think of Bass? Does he know Bass? We haven't seen him. His actions don't seem to indicate a threat. I don't believe he is our enemy. We've seen him once. He spoke to me and shot at me, and that's- that's it. What is this? Wily is attacking the robot museum. You must leave now, Mega Man. So there's a mid-stage between the cycles. Okay, let's go. What's this theme? This is Cutman's theme. No, it's Gutsman's theme. That's Snake Man. That's Blizzard Man. Someone's busted out. That's Pharaoh Man. That's Heat Man. I like these. Those. That's neat. Who broke out? You stole Gutsman. Of course you did. That's Ring Man and Skull Man. From right to left. Do I have to fight him or are you just you just gone with him? No, instead I have to fight Joker. Instead I have to fight Joker Robot. Who seems to only take damage on the head. Fat Joker! Fat Joker! Okay, hit him on the head. Can I wrap the head in a bubble? No, he just takes damage from it. Does he have a specific weakness? If he's doing the spin, he won't take damage, it seems. Freeze Cracker! It did freeze him, I suppose. It stayed in place, but I'm dead now, so. The Junker is fat! <laughs> It really foreshadows the fact that Gutsman is stolen by just using Gutsman's theme. Uh, there's Plantman in the background. That's, um, oh, what was his name? Is that, is that Brightman? That's not Brightman. Brightman's a light bulb. I don't remember what he is. Is that just Plantman again? Did they just repeat the sprite? Because you're not supposed to see it all the way? This one only has two. Okay, not the cutscene again, thankfully. No, freeze. Okay, it's not freezing him, he's just landing on the ground. 
I don't think he's specifically weak to anything. And it's not like he's just jumping all over the place without any predictability. The head, I mean. It jumps for a bit, and then he lands. And he sits still for a bit. Ah, my, my health isn't doing great, though. Going for those E-Tanks. No, I said going for those E-Tanks! Game! Well, I'm out of, out of health. Okay, I, do I have to sit through the cutscene again? Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm on Mega Man. Dr. Light, it's me, Mega Man. What? I named you Rock. Why are you Mega Man? I don't know a Mega Man. Can you nibble on my earlobes? Oh no, it seems Dr. Wily is responding to my request. I wanted Mega Man to nibble my earlobes, not Dr. Wily. Okay, we're gonna win this time. <laughs> I've gotten game overs before, right? Oh my god. I've gotten game overs before and the E-Tank stayed. Yeah, okay. So, I have no excuse for losing this time. The reason I lost last time is because I was going for the E-Tanks, but I hit B on the menu instead of A. It uses A for confirmation on all the menus, despite the fact that A serves no purpose inside the actual game. Well, A is auto-fire. Which I haven't been using. Hi, I'm waiting. Fat Junker. Guys, it's Dementio. Laugh. Hi, how it- Okay, yeah, your hitbox took a while to actually- Hit me. Oh god. Ah! It is hard to deal actual damage on him. I can't tell if any of these are even doing extra damage. There we go, good. Thunderbolt. Man, real time fan dubs. Fan dubs has gone downhill since literally everyone was replaced with Cam. What are you saying? Yeah, I don't think the shield is gonna cut it. Well, the shield, kinda helpful, but. Okay, this actually works really well. You just can't hit the head directly with it very easily. Okay, cool. The the danger wrap did the most damage all along. I was just dumb. No, I'm saying please burp. Uh. I can't I can't do it on command, I'm sorry. Mega Man, it's a disaster! Wily and his robots are rampaging through the middle of the city! Weren't they doing that already? Get going! Or is that its way of telling me there are now four more? Yeah, there they are. Alright, so these four go in a loop as well. Um, so... I'm trying to think of... He can't burp on command. He can, he can, he can. He can't do it on, there you go. I was waiting for that. Um, so I've gotten all but one of the, two of the rush plates. 
That's what the letters are called. I um, think I got two of them. I know how to get one of them. It's in Freeze Man stage. So I think I should probably just go into Freeze Man stage and get it. I, I think um, before I head forward. Okay, I got... How many are in burst? Wait. Okay, I got the... Okay. I've written down... Th there, there's the four rush plates. That is just a vampire. Yes, it is. That is Shade Man. Um, so, I'm trying to think. So, there's two secret items in Freeze Man's stage. Um, and then one in Shade, one in Turbo, one in Slash, one in, one in Junk, one in Spring... So there's one in each of the stages I haven't gone to, and then one in Junk, and then one in Freeze, in addition to the Rush Plates. Um, Proto Man is also uh, able to be found in three stages, and I found him in one. He was in Cloud Man stage. Anyway, I'm just going to hop into Freeze Man, because I'm pretty sure the thing's in Freeze. Also, notice how it didn't do the intro, because Freeze Man won't be here to be killed this time. So it is nice in that way. You don't have to refight them. Okay, I found R-U. I think the H is here. And that is the one thing I'm here for. I have a big list of all the um, items in front of me. Or not what the items are, but where they are. Um, or what stages they're in. Like I, it, It's not like I have a walkthrough up or anything. I just wrote down how many items are in each stage. Um, but I did it in a rather confusing manner, <laughs> and, um, because I don't know which items are which, uh, I've, it is kind of hard to actually keep track of the things. Okay, there's two items in Freeze Man's stage, and I got one of them. That's right, Rush Search is here. So I might need to come back here again? I'm not totally sure. I'll look up what's in Freeze Man's stage right after going through this. No! That's difficult! I should just use Rush Jet. Removes all risk. So, uh, this controller has basically an SNES layout with the four face buttons, whereas every Mega Man, uh, w which matches the SNES controller, um, that was redundant. I don't really know what I actually just said in that sentence. This has four face buttons, the SNES controller had four face buttons, but all the Mega Man games before this were on the NES, which only had two face buttons. So... I'm um, curious if the auto fire that is on the A button, that is mapped automatically to the A button, um, is was a thing in the original game or not? Because you could the A button was mapped to auto fire in the in NES games um, on Legacy Collection, but that wasn't actually a thing in the original. I wonder if they just like took that from um, from Mega Man Seven specifically or something like that. Well, we're good now. We're over the bad thing. Oh my god, let me just- let me, I just want- I just want through. Coil time, and now... Oh, I don't know how to do this. Okay, that time I was able to get it just with the jump. I was waiting till I had jet, but all right. I didn't need it, which I guess is fine. I shouldn't complain about that. Shit. Was shit in response to Cambot. <laughs> nice. No, no, I got better at platforming. Gets angry itself. <laughs> And you know what, while I'm here, let me look up Freeze Man 
secrets. I don't want to know how to get the things. I just want to know if there are... What things there are to get. I need rush search. But I don't know how rush search works. So there is one thing, but I need rush search to get it. Hmm. Is this something I will need to specifically? Uh. Okay, um. Okay, um, I know where to get it. I wouldn't have been able to figure it out otherwise. I'm, I'm curious to see if, like, there's an indication as to where I use this. It is at the end of the stage. So we're basically redoing this all the way. Why do you feel like you have more health than usual? Bouncy. Bouncy, he says. Okay, hold on. Um, next to the edge of the ledge near... Oh, no! Near the... Boss entrance. Near the boss doors. Right here? Is this what you want from me? Seems not. Okay. Hey, Rush. Come this way. You won't leave. I died while trying to do that. Uh, which means I have to redo shit. Even though I was at the location. God damn it. It says use rush search in a specific location next to the boss doors. Oh my god, this is so much more to redo than I thought. Just die. Just, just leave. Give me the bolt. But leave. <laughs> okay, cool. Next to the edge of the ledge near the... Okay, the... This ledge? Okay, he's digging. Um, that's not the thing I was thinking. Is it here? Also, what is the indication that there's a thing here? Without images, I don't- I have no idea what to do. Okay, my god. Where in- Golly, is the exit part. Oh, it's, um, this door. No, it's not that door. It's not that door. I just screwed it up. I have to die now. No, if I die, I'll spawn here. 
I fucked it up. And you can't rewind. Well, take me out. The best classic mega. So far there are things that are making me disagree. I'm not hating it, but so far there are things making me disagree. How are you, Jefferson G? Welcome. I am trying to get the exit part from Freeze Man stage, which is annoying to get because there's seemingly nothing pointing you toward where it is. So, rush search, is there supposed to be something? <laughs> like, like you have to use it in specific places to get specific items, but is there any indication on where you're supposed to use rush search? It's the small ledge before the boss door. I tried that and it dug up a weapon capsule. I guess I just wasn't in the right location. Okay. This will be like the fifth time I've gone through Freeze Man stage. But then I'll be able to start the next. No, no, I won't. I have to go back to um, Burst Man stage to get the uh, S, I think. I'm also just finding I'm way worse at this one than the other Mega Man games. It just feels harder for reasons I can't explain. I think it has to do... I think it has to do with Big Mega Man making the platforming harder, but I'm having a lot more trouble than with the NES ones. I have theories as to why, but I can't specifically put my finger on why. Yeah, I'm just gonna use auto fire. Donnie, you still alive? Let me specifically call out people. That's what you're supposed to do on Twitch, right? <laughs> E5 hours, hours RH. There's a backslash in there, that's wild. Is that a forward slash? I can never tell the difference. <laughs> I'm just using Rush Jet to get through this. Rush Jet makes this easy. No room for possibly screwing up the jump. No, then I just like slam directly into these. Also, let me make sure, did it save that I got the... Yes, okay, it saved that I got the H. That's what I needed. That's what I came back for in the first place. I actually didn't know until I looked it up. Oh, there's another thing here. And of course it's at the end. Of course, in the shop it's like 200 parts or something. 200 bolts. There's probably some Robot Master weapon that kills those, uh, annoying floor bots. Oh, yeah! Up we go. I should probably use an E-Tank, but I'm going to. I was gonna say, but nah! No, I'm gonna do it. I have three. Can I get rid of Rush, please? There we go. There we go. So it, it's, it's this right here. Dig. Please don't kill me in the process of his dig. And of course you bombed him right when he did it. Jesus Christ. No. No. I really died while letting Rush search and- Okay, I'm not coming back- I'm, I'm coming back for that later, I'm not doing this. Um, I'm doing a different thing. Now let's see. 
There's an item in Junkman State. But I got the letter in Junkman Stage. I have to revisit both Burst and Junk. Okay, that's fine. You also buy the item. You you can. You can. I just want to, for the sake of 100%, I want to grab everything where it is. Granted, I guess that specifically doesn't really matter as long as I get the item. It's not that I, like, want the stage exit badly, specifically. It's that I want to do everything in the game. Like, I don't think... I'm gonna have a ton of use for, oh, okay, let me go in and then leave. Like, I usually don't leave until the game over tells me to. <laughs> and if I have to manually leave a level, I usually just, uh, I usually just kill myself for it, and I think that has the same effect. Okay, so this is, I believe, the area where um, I didn't get the letter. Actually, no, I did get the letter here. Is Was it Junkman stage that I... Hold on. First, let's see if there is a weapon in... Uh, there is an item in Burstman stage at all. There doesn't seem to be. Well, the one item in Junkman stage was Rush Jet, which I already got. I'm trying to get a good look at the screenshots where these all are. I am sorry that you can't, uh, that I'm just, like, sitting still. <laughs> okay, I have the R, U, and H. The S is in Junkman stage. So I don't need to be here at all. <laughs> I just don't. So this is where the stage exit would, I suppose, come in handy. But no, there's an easier way out of here. Easier. No, there's a there's another roundabout way out of here. And I don't lose all my E-tanks like I do in some of the games, so it doesn't like matter. Junkman stage we go. I don't know how to get the S, I just know the S is here. That's not like a request to tell me how to get the S, I just... That's just a statement. Backseat gaming, bad. So this one's different because I didn't even see the S. The S wasn't visible to me, as far as I could tell. But I think this is the stage where there was like a ladder that I saw after the fact. Like there was a secret passageway leading to a ladder that I didn't seem to be able to access or didn't know how to access. So we'll see. Oh, oh, that could have been a bad. Let me pull up the guide again real quick, just to see something. Oh, you'll need the freeze cracker. Okay, that's why I couldn't get it. There's lava you can freeze later. That's it. Again, all I know right now is just you need to freeze a thing. Oh, that was a loud door. Hello, whoever. No, no, video game. I suppose you can use Rush Jet to get through this really quickly. As in not having to wait for the platforms. Unless you don't have enough room, he can't land on ladders. That's what it is. Okay, Rush Jet was in that little alcove. I was able to get that pretty... I was gonna say pretty easily. No, I died multiple times trying to get that. <laughs> I 
I'm just brute forcing that. I just don't want to bother waiting for the thing. Okay. This? The Was I supposed to freeze the lava earlier in the level? How early did it want from me? Oh my god. I might go to bed, been tired all day, and am sick. Bye, Cam. Okay, bye, Donnie. I'll see you later. I don't know when I'm gonna cut the stream off. I'm probably actually gonna cut it off before going for the second uh, round of Robot Masters, honestly. Um, I feel like that'd be, that, that's, a, that's a stopping point that makes sense and prevents the stream from going a billion years long. Especially because there's a lot of backtracking required that wasn't in the previous games. Like, to do this all in one run and 100% the game is going to take a much longer. Not, maybe not much longer, but... When you find the lava waterfall, shoot it with Freeze Cracker. And I guess I've already found it. It was earlier in the level. I just wasn't thinking. Okay, it's right here. Yep, right, it's that. It's that. Cool. And that crumbles into this. Can I... Oh, that's a ladder. And I see it. I see it. There's the S. And I guess it's just a sh little shortcut otherwise, because uh, this seems pretty simple to get through. Not that it matters, I got the thing and now I can die. I think it saves it. And if not, it's early in the level, so whatever. Let me go into level just to check. Oh, super adapter. Yeah, I already knew what it was called. It's the epic thing. Now, how do I... Okay, I can shoot my arm. <laughs> That's great. Now, can I... I can use the jetpack by uh, double tapping. Okay. And is there any limit on this? There doesn't... It, it doesn't seem to even have the charge-up limit that, um... Well, it does have a charge limit just without a gauge of its own. Um, but... Cool. This is neat. I like this a lot. Is it cheap in some ways? It might be. <laughs> I don't know. So this is basically a combination of Rush Jet and Rush Power from Mega Man 6. You can't slide, I'm noticing. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna kill myself and leave. And then you know what? Um... Just to round off the stream so I don't have to revisit any of these stages uh, again. I think I'm going to uh, go through Freeze Man stage again to grab that. Uh, grab that item. I think that's fair. Do you think that's fair? I'm going to use uh, the super adapter though. Just because it's fun. And might make this faster. I don't know. Actually, I don't need to fight you. Ha! That skipped a thing that I didn't expect to skip. Yeah, this is certainly making elements of this really easy. <laughs> elements. Elements of it. Oh, that'll make jumps here super easy. <laughs> This specific jump gave me a lot of surprising grief. <laughs> Anyone still out there? I'm getting close to ending it off, but you know. Just want to know if anyone exists. I've spent no money in the shop yet. Absolutely none. Of course, this makes all the precision platforming that you had to do to get the 
rush items way easier. <laughs> of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Yeah, trying to use that to skip those things was a mistake, but that's fine. If I'm over here, will the things not spawn? To kill him? Because that was the problem I had last time. Did you find it? Did you find the thing? It did. It. He did. Cool. The, uh... The exit. What's it called? I think it's just called the stage exit. Which just brings you right out. Alright, cool, I guess. Um, cannot make a checkpoint save. Where... How do I properly save this from the stage select, then? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Alright, well, um, I expected this to go for, like, three hours, but no, this is a pretty good stopping point. Um... One stream for one half the robot masters, one for the other half. I'll probably finish the game tomorrow. I don't. I don't know. I have no clue. Um, but thank you for joining me. I will see you nerds uh, tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m. to uh, continue and potentially finish up Mega Man 7. Bye, pals. See ya. Heart. <laughs>